Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass 2 and welcome to Super Seducer 2. Super Seducer 2 is in fact the greatest game ever made, where you, as a super seducer, must superly seduce a bunch of people with your super seducing skills times double. So Posh Tati vs Supermodel Chapter 1 is all we can do right now. She just stepped off a yacht, but the supermodel is too sexy. The choice is yours, and yours alone. Goal, a number, sex, or kill your enemies. Well, we know what we're doing, and it's all the above at the same time. Don't ask what a tank has to do with dating, by the way. That's how I go pick up all my dates, I go in a tank. You really want to press the girls, the guys, or whatever, you go in a tank. Arthur! I'm hungry, man, let's go to the restaurant. It's my kung fu. Oh my god, it was just 10 minutes of them driving around oh, so the tank. Up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Look at that dog. My god, that man appeared in a tank. I have to stop and look. I've never seen a man appear in a tank before. That's unbelievably cool. Showing up in a tank works so well that even a random woman on a boat is going to take notice and do a slow model walk to your table. Life's going to slow down all around you. Yeah, I show up in a tank. Look, our first choices! How to approach her. Don't approach her at all, eat a kumquat. Use genius conversation star from that YouTube guy. You know, PewDiePie. Catch her attention non-verbally with a tank. Gaze into her eyes while spilking her with your finger if it's a penis. Go and tell her that she caught your eye and can you join her for a few minutes. So... Let's see, I don't see a tank option. I guess that's already been expended in the opening scene. Let's, let's don't approach her at all. Let's just eat a kumquat. That, that's the power move. It's the kumquat. Like, oh. Paper rustling, man sign. You've already lost. One possible ending. Oh. It's the kumquat ending. Yeah. I mean, it just might not be your day to approach someone, and if you want to turn around and try again tomorrow, then so be it. Yeah, I mean, she won't be there, but maybe someone else, or, or maybe just stay single forever. Never yep. approach. Well, what's meant to be is meant to be. Mm -hmm. Listen, kumquats are good. Results forever alone! <laughs> okay, that's one possible ending. Um, yeah. Okay. Catch our attention non-verbally. Use Genius Conversation Star from that YouTube guy. This is smart. And instead of spending your money on a game like this, hey, why don't you walk up to a pretty girl in the mall and say, hey, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm a YouTuber. How you doing? I play video games. You know, I don't just keep it cool, guys. Um. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god! Just did the virgin walk! YouTube sucks! I'm sure this one was gonna work. I was absolutely certain. It was such a legendary uh, piece of advice, you know? I'm sure it would work. 
but it didn't. Turns out you shouldn't take dating advice from YouTubers. Well, at least we didn't get an ending. What do you do? You just like walk off and then come back like, um, I'm sorry, I, I was trying to use advice from a YouTuber. Um, let's let's start this over at the beginning. Let's try beckoning her with your finger as if it's a penis. That sounds smart. Hey, come over here. I'm not creepy at all. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no! Security? Oh, oh god, run! The security ending. Security! Woo, yeah, man! You did it! You chose the very first red option in the game. Congratulations! Yay! Dumbass, obviously you don't put your little finger through your trousers and wiggle it around like a dick. But a YouTuber told me to do it. They know everything. All right. Okay, go. Uh, uh, let's let's get this on. Let's go and tell her she cut your eye. Let's try not to use any advice from YouTubers. Hey, how you doing? My name is Manly Badass here. You caught my eye over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm very good. How are it's you? good to hear. Well, I'm very, very well. We just sit in front of you. Listen, I'm um, invited. I was just sitting there, saw you, and thought I'd come and say hi. Hello. This is a direct way to start, and I think in this situation it's pretty cool. Especially um, show up in a tank. If you're approaching a woman in front of her friends or in a public place, uh, she would at least appreciate that you're very confident if you can go up and, and do it like that versus, you know, having a little weaselly way to do it. Yeah, I think if you can show confidence from the get-go, that always puts you in a better position. Who are all these random people just sitting around? So I'm Richard. Hi. I just I'm wondered Lottie. that now. I'm Lottie like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, lovely yeah. to meet you. Good to meet you too. Hello, I already to order. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. The usual, please. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Don't bother me. I'm in a porn conversation. Oh god, every single one's a minefield. Or a tea cake shot for confidence. Something for her. You know what? Everything sucks. This menu sucks. Let's go back to my place. I don't know when to start. Um... Let's start at the least tasteful option. We just have to, it's there. Once you go down this avalanche, you just might as well rule the snow. Yeah, Will he actually I'll say it? I'll have a slice of um, the cherry cake, and for the lady, uh, she's gonna be eating my dick. Oh god, he said it! Yeah. What? Um, are you, are cherry you, cake? Are you for real? You, you don't, absolute pervert! You don't I feel sorry for the actor in here. I like dicks, but I definitely don't like yeah, your dick. I knew dick. you liked it. I really, Babe, really don't. On. Can you, you just haven't get seen off? It? No, I really don't want to see your dick ever. Not you now, are disgusting. But somewhere. Look at your smirk. You're actually just like a slimy I'm not pervert. A smurf. Can you get off my table? Yeah, yeah. Just go. Why are you screaming? Shoot. There's people. Shoot. There's people. Shoot. Get away, pervert. There's people know get. Go on. Get. Off. Off. I'm just telling you, I feel sorry for the actors now. He has to say it. Just horrendous. Bit of an unusual order. Also, wrong. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're getting the script, and it's like you, you need to say you need to say this line because it's comedic, please. And he's like, "Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. You got you got to say these lines like every single one. So, uh, uh, how much I gain pay for this? Fifty dollars. So, uh, oh, well, money's money. Let's see. Uh." Uh, this is a landmine one right here. I I'm curious if this will be a red one. I, I just want to see what goes down. I want to see if she catches me on this. Uh, I mean, uh, cherry cake and uh, English breakfast tea with no milk. The usual. And what would you like? Yes, I'd like the um, chocolate cheesecake and mm. a cup of tea. Thank you. Thank you. I come here a lot, but... Yeah. 
You like I hate babe, babe, do you like being Okay, so they did they did catch it. But babe, why? That's actually pretty good. They caught it. They kept it going though. They kept it going. Sorry. So I guess that's just a negative point. Put away the phone! Put away the phone! <sighs> no, we know what you have to do. We're gonna make this the worst state ever. Let me just, hey, sorry, sorry about this. Lottie, I hate to do this, but I've got something really urgent. So it's lovely to meet you and all that, but I've got to go. Bye. Hey there! Um, bye. Okay, go play Fortnite. God, how rude. Uh, waitress? Oh, what? Why do you walk so far away? Hey, buddy, what's so urgent? There is a YouTube convention, my friend, and now is your chance. Ooh, who's there exactly? The PewDiePie! Lists? Great. Betty Jack. Awesome. Perfect. Boogie? Ah, he's quite likable. Jim Sterling. Fucking Jim Sterling? Alpharad, friend without benefits. I like those guys too. There is also the mini mint. Nah, he didn't answer my email, so whatever. Anyone else? Bro Jared? Let's fucking do this. Yeah, this Please. is awesome. Bring me my special briefcase. It's the best ending. This is my special YouTuber briefcase. Let's go YouTube stuff. <laughs> oh no, are we gonna- we're gonna miss out bomb Die, convention? <laughs> yes we are! Oh my god. Nothing of value was lost. Game over, you won! See, this was a good ending. This was a good ending. I like this one. So, technically, it did say one of the objectives was to kill your enemies. So, you know, we won. Did Jim Sterling give the first Super Seducer a bad review? Is that why he had to be eliminated? <laughs> oh my god. Order tea, cake, and something for her. Let's just try to use a nice option. So, do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. Naughty. I'm going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm going to have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. Look, we acted like a normal person. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's Why quite not? romantic. Or yeah. just a straight espresso. Maybe the one option, they had like a little alcohol there. Sorry. Oh, my, I get pain every time I see him pick up that phone. Sorry about that, just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. Ooh, power move. You know what, it's such a lovely Blindness. day. And you're dressed amazingly. It's all summery, but it's got something to it, like a real interesting style you have. Thank Very you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. When did we tell her, her, oh yeah, we, we introduced ourselves as Richard in the beginning, I forgot. I work wonders in bed. Distract her and do the ring finger DHV routine instead? What? I work for a pharmaceuticals company, make YouTube videos, truth. You. Market manager, I make YouTube videos, but I really love poetry. I'll make, oh my god. I'm a mumble rapper? Uh Ah, uh, you know what we have to choose first. Oh, which one's the worst one? Probably this one right here. Ooh, it's too bad though. Let's do this one. This one sounds sleazy. It's funny that you ask, babe. I'll tell you. I work there it is, there's the babe word. In bed. I beg your pardon. Do you get it? You do get you it? know who you're talking to? Do you know who I am? Lottie? I am Lottie Wentworth Miller. 
OK? You don't Thank say you. things like that about me. To me. It's not about you, it's about me, it babe. It's despicable. I'm, I've got skills in the bedroom. I think, oh, my goodness, don't even talk about bed talk. You don't like beds. We're sitting at a table. Yeah, Look we'd be lying we in a bed. Soon we're going to be lying in a bed We're together. absolutely never going to oh, no. be lying yeah. in that bed alone and it'll be cold, the way cold. your attitude Why? is. Yes, do you like grapes? Uh, Throw them. Oh. There you go. Just leave the doing? table. Food fighting. Just like get out. Yeah, you, you're the child. You're making it. You're bringing it out to me, aren't you? Disgusting. Just go. No, like, Look, it's the actual virgin trot, walk. Trot along. Spit spot, pervert. Quick now, send Hitman after him. <clears throat> send the Hitman. Damn. Legendary line, Charlotte. No, terrible line. Um, what if you say you work hard? Because my dick's hard or something. Like, oh. Anything along those lines? No, I'm going to say a blank never there. This one I need to see. Well, never mind that. Hang on, I just noticed your ring. That's quite interesting. Let me see. Get... Yeah, it's my grandma's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would you we know just something? steal it. There's this interesting thing that i heard about right. where they say that whatever finger you wear the ring on says something about your personality okay do so yeah i do what, all right what, what what do you think about me well the thumb if you had the ring on the, that finger the thumb uh it's all connected to greek mythology so the thumb is poseidon and he was the only god that didn't live in mount olympus so it's about strength and independence that's where we're going that's here yet interesting Right. The it's not bad, but is uh, Zeus. Wow. So obviously God. this is like power, mm -hmm. decisiveness, leader, all of this stuff. Now, we do your one. Yeah. yeah. The next one is uh, Dionysus. So it's the god of wine and fun and you know all oh, of that I stuff. Oh, I like that. I yeah. really like that. I so, am. I am like a goddess that you? of fun. Yeah, I love being so much fun and I love wine. There you go. Yeah. Oh, perfect then. So spot on. The next one, obviously, this is uh, like the ring finger. I thought those could be a lot cringier than I thought it'd be. Obviously, oh, so goddess of love, love and mm, yeah, yeah I like all that. of that nice stuff. And then the final one. Aries, war. So you know these guys that have pinky rings and sometimes yeah. they're a little bit yeah, fiery, you know, troublesome, fiery. Yes. Yeah. So that's Stubborn, that one. actually. So is, it worked for you then. Pretty yes. interesting. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that. Yeah, and oh, you asked me my job, right? So mm. yeah, I'm, I'm doing this pharmaceutical thing and yeah. then I also make YouTube videos as well. Really? So a bit of, yeah. What, what, what? YouTube videos? Yeah, you know, just all different kinds of videos, put them on YouTube, try and get views, advertising and all that stuff. Wow, mm -hmm. very interesting. I guess that was the right one to choose. So this is one of those um, routines, and if she Googles it, she could find that it's a pickup routine, which is not good. However, having said that, it's quite interesting. You're talking about her jewelry and uh, doing a little cold read, and it's, it's kind of interesting. It basically... Um, Where yeah. you wear the rings on your finger. Yeah. Do you wear a ring? None. Never. What does that say about me? You have no soul. Actually. Yeah. Not on the ball. Ah, you only say it if she has rings. There you go. Okay. Otherwise, you need a different routine. Well, she's going to find out palm because everyone reading. Googles it. Palm reading is what I would do. What if she knows how to palm read? And you say it wrong. Who are all these random people just sitting Why around? Honest? Why can't guys just be honest? It looks so it's awkward. Hard. Yeah. They were just paid to sit there. And what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work, but I this do thing. a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You yeah. know, something interesting I've noticed, I've met some actors, and they're always very interesting people because they're empathetic. And that's, Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions. So uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people. But because of this, you can really You can get feel in it there. and yeah. you can get the vibe. It's amazing. Now it's just a normal it's day. A cool job, actually. No one yeah, cares it anymore. It's, it's nice to dip in and out, mm. obviously. Stop being normal people. Hey, Start you bombing YouTubers. Yourself? In the car? Yes, I do. I think... Who is I she? I think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know, but God, yeah. she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, not bad. Wow. 
She's, she's calling Lonnie over, not me. Now that's gonna be the twist. Well, sorry, main character. Let's ruin the state. We're getting a little too normal. Ooh. Oh, well, oh my I'm god. I'm just gonna get her autograph quickly. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll be back, probably. Hang on. Probably? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Damn those. Damn those super... Oh, oh, sh... Run! God, it's like the, it's like the punch-out loading screen. Da 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 da. What do we do? We become like a '90s comedy skit. Stop! You run really good. You're like Roadrunner. Come join my army of Looney Tunes. Oh God, there's more choices. We completely diverted this. Tell her your auntie's in the hospital. You need to get there ASAP. Ask for a lift to some far off place, pretend to be a cop. She go bang in the car. Start humping the car. How 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 can we ruin your life? What's what's the best way to ruin your life? Okay. The game froze! It got too intense! I like your car. Thank you. The car is so beautiful. It's Mercedes. Yes. Oh god, it's a Mercedes. Obviously. It's immaculate. The pain is. It really is immaculate. Holy crap. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my god. No, seriously, this car is better than you. The pain is just... The wax is just perfect. How much did you spend to get this car done? Oh my god. So immature. Ask for a lift to some far off place. Let's just try this. Um, can you give me a lift? To the center? Why don't you use the Uber? Nah, um, my, my app is um, deleted. Now that just sounds and creepy. Then, uh, then uh, subway is the best idea? Nah, it's dangerous, dangerous. Got cr criminals. Oh, you're scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you don't have other options, I will give you a lift. So after chasing her this far, asking for lifts, not really, yeah, not really realistic. Gentlemanly. Could just run as well, or take Uber, or yeah, many options. Yeah, you're an adult, you can get around. Anyway, my name's Richard. My name Creepy is Creepy smile. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you Hello, doing today? I love cars. Fine, and you? Tired, and tanks. But, um, Why? <laughs> what do you think? I've run... Five miles or kilometers or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. Good, good cardio. Good cardio, good it's training. It's a long way. Yeah, but that's nice. It's a nice place here for running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a great place for running. That's for a phone number. Talk about she needs to walk rather than drive. Say you recognize her from somewhere in a joking way. Validate her that she's open and friendly. Uh... Nothing here sounds completely outlandish. Some of them are, are just more awkward. So it's just going normalish. You know what? I've been chasing you for ages, but um, you look really open and friendly, so... Thank you. I think it might be all right. Is it right? You're a friendly person? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. Thank you. This is cool because by saying that she's open and friendly, you're suggesting then something. In the minutes following this, she's likely to be more open and friendly because she's See, I knew agreed it. that she is. And you're also complimenting her on her character and not necessarily how she looks. And this is always a very good option. Marina, I've got an intuition about you immediately. Do you <laughs> Tell hear me. It? Um, I think that you're very tough. And independent. Oh my god. And so it's hard for people to get to know you. Is Probably, that right? yes. Yeah. But the, with people that you're close to, you're good friends, family, you're actually very warm and open and kind. Yep, you're right. right. Yes, good intuition. Hmm. I can just feel it. <laughs> 
Ask her if she likes... Oh my god. Ask her if she likes dogs or cats. Ask her if she's spontaneous or boring. Ask her if she's a good girl or a bad girl. I can be your angel, your demon. Ask what's more numerous, the men she slept with or the books she read. Oh no. Should we want to ruin your life or do we want to choose a good answer? Let's ask the evil coin. Evil coin, what should we choose? They came up tails. That means absolutely nothing because I didn't declare it what I actually decided meant yet. Damn, evil coin, you're worthless. Ah, uh, I'll give you a break. I'll, I'll choose if you're spontaneous or boring. I've got a question. Yeah, everyone's right. just telling typical so sleazy answers. Something, but now I've got to ask: Are you boring or spontaneous? I'm um, spontaneous. Do yeah. you believe there are people who will tell I'm boring? Yes. <laughs> no, but you were very like immediate that you're spontaneous. What's something very spontaneous that you've done? Well, actually, I stopped here in the middle of the road. Talk to me. To, to a guy running after my car. <laughs> this was spontaneous. I guess it was, yeah. <laughs> this is the best possible option. And, you know, in this situation, it is a very spontaneous situation. You All know, the people moved in the background. Talking to her and you want to suggest uh, going somewhere right there and then. So her being spontaneous would be good. And most people would agree Does that look tired? spontaneous rather than being boring. I don't I've been studying in the last 30 minutes. Admit to being boring. Are you spontaneous or boring? Um, I can be spontaneous, I think would be my answer to that one. Excellent. <laughs> what have you been up to today? Um, actually I was in the gym, I just finished my training. God, we um, went completely sidetracked from the original woman. So you're a supermodel, so you need to look like this in the gym, or you did it afterwards? You mean my makeup? Yeah, all well, the makeup, the sexy What's dress. Wrong with <laughs> the makeup's great, but I just think if you're working out and you've got. I was born like this. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I just have some other plans after my training. Ah, so you're going somewhere super glamorous now. Super glamorous. Yeah. I'm going to have my cold pressed juice now. What juice bar? I'll take an Uber and meet you there. Oh, no! Since we want your cold press. Oh, no. Can I come with you? This is one. This one I probably have to avoid with the YouTube censors. Can I come with you? Maybe that's just in the car because girl drivers. I'll pay for the juice. You pay for the gasoline. I got twenty minutes. What? What is this line? Huh? Can I come with you? Well, this sounds dreadfully normal. Let's try this option. Let's try to anger her the worst possible way. I love cold pressed juice. Mm -hmm. Um, tell you what, why don't why don't we go together? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. Now say it. Um. What? Uh, say it. Woman, car, try. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Oh, you know, like you're driving and then, oh, my nail's broken. Train wreck oh, achieved. I'm driving, oh, I got a text. Oh, oh really? I'm driving, oh, I love this song. And how do you drive? I don't have a car, but I'm sure I can do it better than you. You don't have a car? Yeah, oh, jump out, darling. Oh, you are a true man if you don't Come have on, a get car. out, I'll drive. I'll drive. I have a tank, technically. What are you Thinking doing? Yeah, yeah, come it's on. Locked. <gasps> Babe, this is dangerous shit, come on. I'm not joking. You can't be driving. See that? Get out. See that? Yeah. Bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> you nearly crashed it. It's that way, babe. Ah, oh, but wait for me. But also, ah. Oh. No, seriously. Where's your tank? Stay in the kitchen and off the roads. Oh no! Be safe and cook. Cook. Don't drive. This is super sexist. I mean, this is really not going to work for you. And it's not true, right? It's totally not true. I'm a fabulous driver. You know what this game is? This game is like a certain episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Where Carl met like alternate universe Carl that was successful because he had hair. And he, he was like floating over him and suggesting him to do things and just ruined his life before he left. I am that I am that Carl now. I am in control of this man's life and it's my job to just wreck it. And just make him a terrible person and just ruin every inch of it. 
he he is putting his trust in me, and he is putting it in the wrong person. I'm like his guardian angel. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Cold pressed juice, mmm, yummy. No. So nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, it is. Can I come with you, please? Um. Don't say it like that. Uh, well. Okay. Yay. No, don't say yay. Yeah. So in general, if if you're in an interaction with a woman, you could find that you're saying, "Can I talk to you? Uh, can I call you, Charlotte? Asking the permission, can I do like this? Your, can I get you a drink?" Yeah. And although it's nice to be polite. Uh, I think women expect a little bit more decisiveness and, you know, so making an offer, like, why don't I, or phrasing it differently, no, still definitely. giving her the chance to say no, but still not, like, asking permission. Asking permission seems like you're a child at school. It reduces your, I don't know, status or something. I don't, I'm not interested. It's a little boyish. Singing the juice song wasn't boyish. Okay. Get in. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. Cool. So, Ooh, which juice bar were you going to? Um, I was going to the new one in the center. You know it? I don't remember the name. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure, but you know what? There's a place. Um, it's not too far, I think, but it's in a beautiful location. You might even say romantic. It's by the lake. Mm -hmm. You mean the one we just went? No, where it came I'm from? Let me find it on the map. Do you know the address? Because I don't know how to go there. Mm, no, but if I put it in, juice... Juice bar... Lake juice or something. Yeah, there it is. Lake juice. <laughs> See? This okay. one. So you just go there and then there oh, and then there. Really? So not far away? Yeah, it's not far. You want to try it? Okay, let's try this one. Look, everything's normal. But now, let's see what Manly does. You want to build trust. Text a female friend to call. Do you know that 93% of girls must be in the show? What? I, I don't mean the statistic, but just why are we bring this up? Tell her you want to get to know her intimately. After training, there is nothing better than a massage. Ah. Uh, I do want to ruin your life. But do I want to ruin it every time? Hmm, this could be taken the wrong way, depending. Uh, let's just try being forward. You know what? Don't see this in a weird way. You. Not that way. You outside and inside. No! Sorry, what do you mean? Outdoors and indoors? Mm -mm. No, outside like who you are, whatever, all that. Mm -hmm. And inside like... In your mouth. No! In your pussy. And oh, it's inside. so dirty. Get out of my car. Yeah. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. Yeah, and you ruin your own life. Car. Don't touch my face. I'm gonna call for help. Get out. You can touch my help. face. You ruin my makeup, you bitch. Fucking lesbian. Go then. You go in or not? I don't even do anything, he just ruins it himself. Not my words. Too much too soon, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe some of that, like, half... You started out alright, and maybe, like, everything from 70% forward should have just gone. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. You know, I go to the gym too, sometimes. Really? Yeah, and my favorite thing is after the gym, when all your muscles hurt and you're tired, is a nice massage. Do you like massages? Yeah, I, I believe that everyone likes massages. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And you know what? I've been told I give very good massages. Really? Yeah. God, that's so cliche. Give a second taste. You ready? Be careful. <laughs> Just a little uh, bit. Yeah, it's really so relaxing. Good, yeah? Yeah, good. Right. Mm, I feel now relaxed enough to have a... Don't be too relaxed, we'll sleep. <laughs> okay, we should drive. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So it's straight here. Okay, I see. Don't say anything sexist or creepy. Right. 
There are different ways, obviously, to initiate physical contact, and most guys have a problem kind of bridging that gap between nothing and kissing. And a nice way to do that is like a, a little massage just for a few seconds, not lingering and becoming creepy and odd, but just a few seconds to give a taste and then take it away. And obviously, um, a massage is not generally thought of as a sexual thing, so it should be okay. I like just seeing like where the, the, the people change positions. Where are we now? This is not Juice Bar. So where we go to Juice Bar? I oh no! It was here. Really? Yeah, it must have shut down. Now they've they got this doing that thing. Place over there. Maybe. Oh, maybe you, know. you planned this. Say a lot of girls have to have fantasy of sex in public spaces. Dang it, man! No. Tell no that you are very honest. Apologize profusely. Which of these options is going to ruin your life? Which one's going to secretly ruin your life, and which one's going to help you out? This is this is this is the the telltale thing. Like like some of them are obvious, but some are like, are you going to pull a telltale? Or are you going to like glass him? Like if I apologize prof profusely, he's going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe let's try it. Where is it? I'm sorry. He did. Yeah, I'm sorry. He did exactly what I said yeah. he would. And uh, wasting your time, and you had to drive here and stuff. Mm -hmm. We should have gone to that one you said in the center, right? Probably, but time already spent. Yeah. Anyway, it's quite nice. Got a little waterfall there. Like, see that swan? Mm-hmm. It's not so bad, right? Unless you're thirsty. She really want that juice, man. These parts are pretty nice. Admitting your mistakes is good. Uh -huh. Going too far, it kind of loses, you lose something if you're doing that. I'm so sorry, please forgive me if yeah, it's too it's much. Yeah, it's too, too much. Mm -hmm. Definitely too much. I told you. you he did exactly what I said he was going to do. When I was young, mm -hmm. um, feed the ducks, the swans. And so. now, when you're not young anymore? Ah, uh, now I'm too busy, so. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Hmm. Puff! Oh my god, bruh. Oh no! Oh, I can't put that on YouTube. Fuck the juice bar! Come to my house! Well, it seems like there's only three options here, and... This one... This one, no. E even if it might be funny the way it's portrayed, no. Not with now current YouTube. Uh... Ask her if she wants to go down. Let's go to the juice bar one. Marina. Mm -hmm. I've got a radical idea. Radical. Tell yeah. me. Radical? So get radical, this. man. Juice bar's not here. Obviously. So, we could go to the Coca-Cola place, but no, we don't really want that. We could go and try and find another juice bar, but... Mm, mm. Mm? I tell you what, I've got a juice machine. I've got oranges, pineapples, maybe I've even got some mangoes. So why don't we go to my place and I'll make us some delicious juice. What do you say? So your place? Mm-hmm. For the juice? Just This is where all the flags come to the head. Mm. Well, okay. Excellent. Can nice you give me that grin? Right option. Obviously, it's very bold, um, but you've already got some indicators of interest. She does want juice. You got the juice. Why not? Look, there's nothing wrong with being bold and confident. That's nothing to, you know, to, to stop. It's an attractive quality. Good luck. Are we going to actually the skip back to the house? In life is how you can make small decisions and it just changes your life in a completely unexpected the exciting way. I suppose you like the yeah, part like where a YouTuber can like dictate yeah, your choices. I don't know where you're leading to, but I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming to a house, I'm just coming to have juice. Juice. Not sex. Not sex. Juice. Tasty juice. 
Anyway, you should remember that I just come out of my kickboxing class. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm using you for your juice recipes, nothing more than that. Don't be so presumptuous. As you guys say this, I ask you like, like a quick joke, like sarcastically, like it's just over really fast, or is he gonna drag it on and be literal? Like literally. No, you really, you really need to understand. I just really want your juice recipes. And then he's gonna start humping the juice recipes. He's gonna reach in the glove compartment. There's a book of juice recipes in there and he's just gonna freak out. Is that what's gonna go down? You don't know. Who knows? It's this guy. Say that you respect whatever decisions she makes. All right. I'm not that fruity. It's hard to get me in the bed. Oh no! This option. Well, we we haven't chose a bad one in a while. Let's let's go. I want to see how bad this really goes. With me. See if you don't. You'll never see your family again. You're gonna get them back in little pieces. And I'm going to eat their liver and their kidney and roast it and marinate it. And then... This is where the actor hates his life. So they made me say this. I didn't... Honestly take I'm being paid. Seriously. Um, no. Good. I'm being paid. It wasn't me. It was the YouTuber up there in the sky who told me to say it. I want to see. I, I want to honestly see how he, he frames this. I gotta choose it. You know what? You got me all wrong. Huh? I just knew that you would have amazing juice recipes. I think you know your stuff when it comes to juice. So. I wasn't thinking sex at all. Nothing like that. Nothing, no flirting, no kissing, no holding hands, not even sitting too close. And definitely not sex. Just juice. Very, very tasty juice. Okay, do you? Okay. I need to shake? No, 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 no I can no shake. Touching. Okay, no touching. I respect yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I, a bit too much. Maybe later when you know me better. Mm. Nice one. Uh, that's the correct choice. Again, it's quite playful, but it's okay. A bit he didn't go the deep, awkward way. So she does get the idea that there's still this undercurrent of sexual tension. Yeah, she should know this is just a little joke, and it's quite funny. I was worried. I was worried it was gonna play as a joke. It's gonna be literal. You very thirsty. I was so worried about that. I'm super thirsty. Look, that juice is not gonna cold press itself. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Like, man. 20 minutes later. Oh god. These chapters are pretty long. How do we go from the first woman to this? Was there a whole, like, layers to the first woman too? Or did that one just go nowhere? This is a true route. This is orange and pineapple. Wow, okay. It's teaching you, like, if you see the supermodel in the Mercedes, you run after. I'm trying it for the first time now. Oh, cool. Well, tell me what you think. Oh, really nice, refreshing. You're good, right? Yeah, when it's hot outside, it's perfect. But after so long, there's so many chances to ruin his life. Actually, my favorite is tomato juice. Tomato? Yeah, it's Like good. Bloody, bloody Mary, yeah, with vodka. And after Bloody Mary, <laughs> when you have some hangover, it's perfect tomato juice. Ah, very nice. Cool. I, you know what's very good? In tropical countries, when they have all the different fruits, you can have dragon fruit, uh, sour sop, like all, all kinds of crazy fruits. It sounds so nice, tropical countries. Yeah. Do you like to travel? Yeah. Hmm. Wow, this is actually going well. We can ruin that with just one choice. The evil man lays floating above you with the evil coin. Ask her about her sex life, find out about her passions. Use Adam Land's bad sex routine? Use Baxter's free criteria routine. Ew, routines. Woo. Alright, these aren't... I mean, they might be entertaining, I don't know. But these are... These are legitimately... I'm thinking these are legitimate things guys might use. Because some guys do actually kind of go back to the book mentally. Which is... Cringy, I guess, in my opinion. But, you know. 
That's not entertaining to me. I see that all the time, normally. Let's find out about our passions. Let's choose a normal option. Marina, what's something you're really passionate about in life? Mm, you want to know? Yeah, of course. To tell the truth, uh, photography is my passion. Mm -hmm. It's not just my job, it's just where my heart belongs to. I love to tell the story, I like to show my body through the camera and I love people watching me and I let people see me in magazines and everywhere. I love this attention and I believe that I can um, show them the person that I am mm -hmm. and always to tell some story. Um, and and it's always different, right? Because you have different looks and different emotions. Yeah, and that's perfect. You can always be a different person. One day you are angel and the next day you are... There it is! Wow. It could be your angel, your devil. Who you are, for real. Well, yes, well, of course. I always remember who am I, but my favorite role is actually the role of devil. Oh. It's like, oh, this is going well. It's very good to just get someone to talk about something that they enjoy. So that might not be their job, it might, might not be uh, food, it might not be travel, but every person has something that they're passionate about and that they love to talk about. And when you're talking about something that you're passionate about, you're often your most attractive, I find. Don't you think? Definitely, yeah. Expressive and smiling and energetic, yeah. You said you do some, what was it, Thai boxing? Or? No, it was kickboxing. Ah, kickboxing. You know what? Yeah, it? Thai boxing, Muay yeah. Thai. Uh, she didn't say that. What's the, the difference between kickboxing and Thai box? Ah, you're testing me. Okay, so. Thai uses a lot of like uh, knees and elbows and some grapple moves in. Kick, punch, but you can also elbow. Right. So it's awful and knee and all of that stuff. You wanna see real kickboxing in your life? Mm, yeah. I think I saw it. Yeah, you I've wanna seen it. try? With you? Yes. In this dress? Yes, in this dress. In these heels? In these heels. Sounds great. Yeah, show me something. Let's start. Yeah, let's go for it. We're into that. Let's go. Ready? I was born ready. Let's and now start. I'm even readier. Let's start. Okay. Kick him in the balls. The audience wants to be entertained. The Coliseum demands blood. To have a little spot in Judah Froer. What's this? Is this a street fighter? Knock her out. Keep calling her. Oh no. Do soul gazing. Connect with her. Let's try. Let's try the the the, the footsie game into the tech into the the counter throw. So let's learn some techniques. Ah, let's just try. What the what the what the yeah what the. Fight! That's not perfect. All right, let's try something else. You ready? Watch this one. Three steps. Down one, forward punch. Two, and then. <laughs> that was lame. I want you to actually do a uh, judo all throw. The right option in this case, but obviously do not try this at home. I'm uh, highly trained in the arts martial, so I could do this effectively. But the point to mention is that. You know, to bridge that gap between the non-physical to the physical, you've got dancing, you've got massage, you've got just, you know, getting closer, a little play fighting, tiggling, all of this stuff does it. So. Yeah, I, would, I would say watch where you're throwing her, potentially, if you're going to be <laughs> making this a regular occurrence. But it could have been like WWF, like you go right to the coffee table. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Can you fight? Do you do any? Yeah, I can do judo, actually. Hmm, amazing. Watch out. What the? <laughs> Dang it, I want it. Street Fighter. This is romance. We're just mad. We only just met. You know, that's true. But I don't know. I recognize you, that look. But to me, everything just feels really right. Oh, well, a liar. Just get her a side of. Just bring, let's, let's bring a contract out. I just love this. Try to beat your sex speed run record. Look, some normal, some more normalish options. Let's bring out the contract. I almost forgot. Look, we need to do this. Well, you have it ready behind your couch? Yeah. Hang on a second, I explain everything, right? What's Wait, you saw the glasses? What we've got, we've got this contract. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just the terms, right? So we need to get this uh, consent. It's basically a consent form, just that you agree to f perform various services. We've got normal sex. It's not got the anal sex. I was. It's first. We don't need that in there. Uh, 
Uh, my job is optional. That's uh, clause sexy. two, paragraph three. Darling, we can't be sexy anymore. It's affirmative consent. So, you know, just just to run through it with you, basically, uh, is sex between twenty and forty minutes. You know, don't worry about that. That's gonna be good. Uh, How much if it doesn't start on the couch? Like Do you have like multiple there. contracts all um, over the house? We've got a few different. We're gonna start on the couch, obviously. Then I think. Kitchen table. Get one on the kitchen uh, table. Yeah. yeah, but don't worry, it's insured. So if anything breaks, you're covered. No, I don't feel and, like um, signing it anymore, and I don't feel like sex having with you anymore. Well, I understand it's not very sexy, darling. But these days, you know, we need to cover ourselves. Okay, we don't want... I'll send you my lawyer. Okay, tomorrow okay. he will come. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's too strict. Maybe. So the formal paperwork drawn up by the team of lawyers. Just a big no-no. Okay, so serious one. Uh -huh. Very serious. What do guys do about consent? You know what? I think that if two people are naturally progressing to that point, you know, with honesty, with kindness, with respect to one another, then it's going to naturally progress that progress. I don't think you need necessarily a verbal exchange. Mm-hmm. It would kill the tension a little bit. No, I think bit. And it's not romantic. Mm -hmm. But if she says no or is well, obviously uncomfortable if she says at no any and point, it's uncomfortable, then that's a stop. Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. I mean, the guy gives like joking answers sometimes, but the 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 other host actually gives like some real serious answers, and that's such a contrast. What is this? Is this gonna be really wordy and bad, or is this gonna be okay? I don't know. You know what do we gotta lose? It's not my life. It's the daytime. We're not drunk, so we have this real connection. Yeah. Right. So this is one of those situations where she could see it as either weird and something that shouldn't happen. Or if you paint it as something cool and spontaneous and interesting and different and happening for the right reasons, then she's more likely to see it that way too. But if you kind of let the doubt go too long, then she might just say, this is weird, what are we doing? Yeah, you need to be confident with your actions, for sure. So some of the, so there is some, there's like inklings of good advice in this game, actually. I, I can see it there. It, it, there's so much stupid, like, joke stuff in there. But somewhere, somewhere deep down, there's, there's some actual normal advice. It's just overcomplicating it into a game format. Um, I mean, we came this far. Let's, you know, let's just get the, the achievement, I guess, and get to the next chapter. Nice one. Obviously the perfect choice. Best choice in the game. Well done. Thank you for helping. He's like, are you yes. schmuck? Well, it's absolutely a woman's prerogative. Whatever you choose, as long as it's your decision and you're happy with it, that's great. Results. Casanova. This is a direct way to start. And I think in this situation, it's pretty cool. Um, whenever you're approaching, so they're actually going through each one. Wrong choices explored. Nine out of forty-seven uh, for choice seventy-six percent. You're very confident. Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting's much more interesting, right? Yeah, I, I so much I more varied. So. Mm -hmm. It is as well. I think with modeling, you just have to stare. Yeah, with acting, you have to feel. We have to show certain personality yeah. and be different characters Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. just feel that emotion. Okay, so we're back so on the cafe around. route. Does that mean you're more interested than usual in, I don't know, like TV shows and stuff? Do you watch well, TV? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am... Um, Damn, that's a good looking I cake. Like, uh, Silicon Valley, actually. That's Is that like your favourite? That's favourite at the moment. It's basically like really intelligent guys that love technology. Man, who cares about this date? That's good looking I dessert. I do. I love t intelligent guys. I think you're quite intelligent. 
Well, I'm not a programmer, but I've got my own kind of business. <laughs> you should call this intelligence. Yeah. Smarts. Well, I think, you know, I, I can relate to the, the intelligent side because I'm quite intelligent. Mm -hmm. so Let's I just choose the wrong answer right after this to prove it wrong. Standard. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I just love the way they invent things. Um, yeah. And I think I'd be quite good at that as well. So, yeah, that's a, a Silicon Valley's the way. What about you? Um... I like, I'm watching Handmaiden, have you seen that? The Handmaid's Tale? Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, that one is messed up actually. Yeah. It's quite, um, it's not a comedy obviously, it's like some dystopian parallel future where everything uh, goes wrong, where women, um, when the birth rate just drops near zero, and they round oh, up no. all of the women that can still have babies. Yeah. And they kind of put them with the important men to, to mate. Wow. And it's quite messed up, but it's really, really good and interesting. Have you seen it? No, you I, seen no, it? no, I haven't. Oh, you actually. should check it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds quite interesting. I'd have to um, see if I like it. State's going mm -hmm. completely normal. It might be a little bit for me, but. Um, yeah, Manly's so chaos good. sense is tingling. The chaos sense is kicking in. Feed her some cake. I would just laugh if that just went horribly wrong. Just takes the whole entire thing, just shoves it in her mouth. You best eat. Tell your latest video was dating advice video for men. Oh no. Try to look under the table for surprise. Spoiler alert, it's your dick. Spike her drink. Damn. That's not even chaos at that point. This one sounds more fun. Listen, do you like surprises? Oh my god, I love surprises. Oh no! Check this out, I've got some for what? you. Just have a look. Where? Have what a are look you doing? Under the table. I want oh to show god. you something. Do you want me to go under the table? No, no, just have a little look. Lift it up and have a look. Don't... Yeah. Peculiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Surprise, come on. Hi. He's gonna get Surprise. kicked. Surprise! <laughs> Cool, yeah? That's you like disgusting. It? Disgusting? What I do you need mean? to wash my eyes out with fairy liquid. Oh uh, my goodness. But what's wrong? You don't like dicks? I can't believe you just got your dick out under the table. What? It didn't impress you and surprise you and delight you? It was you. like she was it's looking disgusting. at walking it garbage. It's so tiny. Oh, come on, darling. What are you talking about? It's so. Do you know what? It's hey. so grotesque. It's like this small. I. It's not. It's cold and windy and stuff. I, I, I can't be here. I can't go out with a man with a tiny little dick. Shh. Not me, it's just thinking about someone else. You left your hat. Not me. This went away this went in a way that I didn't it think. Was a surprise, but a diabolical surprise. It went into a way that was absolutely even more horrible than I thought. Okay, I, I want to see if he does something nuts here. Let's try it. Mm -mm -mm. This cake looks lovely. It does. Wait, come why don't you try just a little bit before you try yours? Uh, I'm Go okay. On, come get it. No, no, I'm yeah, okay. that's, like that's it. Okay. You don't like coconut? No. That's the awkwardness I'm looking for. Mmm. Mmm, I'm soaking it up. Some good stuff. Look, look at that tension so, deflate. Feeding you cake? No. Feed I'm you not a fruit. baby, thank you. But later, if there's some sexual tension, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I suppose this is why it's orange. I can't really call it. Might work sometimes, yeah. but risky. R risky. Ooh. Ooh, uh, that, that cake for anything was pretty awkward. Well, let's see do crazy next. Good, yeah? Do you have any special diet? Restrictions like you know. coconut. Well, like sometimes it's gluten intolerant, but sometimes um, only. Yeah, partial like, gluten intolerance. Yeah. yeah, it's like sometimes if I eat too much gluten, then uh -huh. my stomach like becomes a balloon. Okay. So I have to monitor what I eat. All right. Um, but yeah, I've been on the paleo diet before. Oh, that's healthy, yeah. Because in paleo times, everyone lived a long time, so it's good exactly. to make sense to do that. And like when you look back, it's literally just vegetables and meat mm -hmm. the whole time, mostly meat. So I'm just constantly eating meat, which is delicious. Excellent. So okay, I can work yeah. with that. Meat's good. Marcel Proust question there. What the? F Brad Pitt tens, play cards. 
We sound boring. Cards! Hey, random question, but do you ever play cards? Oh, I love cards. It's fabulous. I'm actually very good at it. Oh, no shit. Well, look, check this out. Why don't we play a quick hand now? I've got some cards, but they're sexy ones. What do you mean? Like, naked ladies all over them or something? Naked ladies, close, but no cigar. Check it out. One it's for you. Muchi. One for me. Wait, one what? What's on those? Me, another oh. one for you. One for me. I can't. This one's I a good one. Big around. one I... for you. Oh. Kind of little one for me. Oh. Last one. I can't. I can't do that. I really can't do this. Okay, this this was a true glassum option. That, that was a real glassum one. Yeah, this is, these are the old uh, cards with the guy's uh, dicks on it. So obviously that's. A little bit controversial, right? Yes, I've never seen a deck of those cards before. Oh, you got to see them. I've never seen them, and I'm... We'll I'm... get you a deck as a uh, present. You know what? I'm, I'm all right, but thank you so much. No, you'll love it. Trust me, you can play it with the family. Not, not, not sure my granny will approve well, special of occasions, that. Christmas and stuff. Just Again, bust them out. I'm not sure it's the best present. We should sell it in the Super Seducer online shop, along with T-shirts. Hmm. Ha. Ah. And nail files. Oh yeah, I don't think I know nail files. Use a question for the Marcel Proust questionnaire. I was reading this article, and have you heard of Marcel Proust, the author? No, no, I haven't. He wrote a book, uh, Swan's Way, or something. It's a classic, and okay. he was talking about his life, and he came up with this questionnaire where he asked a bunch of questions, and it was actually really interesting. So, for oh, example. Wow. The f one of the questions was, what's your idea of perfect happiness? So I was thinking about it and yeah. How and you know, I was thinking like this was a normal like question wow, and stuff for the cards. I know. Be easy, right? It's happiness. Um, my idea of happiness would be on my boat mm. in the middle of the ocean. Oh, wow. Surrounding myself with Chanel handbags. Not massive waves crashing down, no? No, like, no, no, everything... no. It's just like a peaceful. Maldives. Peaceful like ocean. The Maldives would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. I do love. I actually have a house in the Maldives. Oh, lovely. Um, and I, I'm just out there, and I have my Chanel handbags around. And because you need them on the boat. Yeah, so and, but the one, there's just one thing lacking. Like uh -huh. I, I would like a man yeah? on the boat. With Should me. he be like tanned and sitting in his? Should yeah. he be, she have like a, a red suit. scarf and you know be a YouTuber a and. Bag. <laughs> Can well, we play some I video games? Oh, yes. He can have a handbag and then give it to me. <laughs> ah, a present. Yeah. yeah. All right. And maybe his name is Manly Badass Hero. We should scrap uh, today. This is a tricky one because we didn't let you know what the question would be. But obviously, um, this one's pretty good and can lead to a good conversation. And in general, I would say that if you're going to be going on dates, you should ensure that you have a couple of interesting things to talk about and even having a few interesting questions like this in your back pocket is a good thing to have so that you're not at risk of running out of things to say. No, and it's a great way to open up a conversation. Much better than those cards. Veer off onto something else that you both have interest in. How can we never talk about the tank he so drives good. in? Mm -hmm. What's your philosophy on life? I guess it's pretty simple, but it's taken me a long time to get there. But for me, it's all about finding the things I really enjoy in life mm -hmm. and doing more of them and finding the things that I don't like. I used to be bothered all the time with phone calls, um, oh, doing okay. annoying stuff, filling in forms and all of that bureaucracy stuff I don't mm -hmm. like. So it's a uh, boring normal to, answer. Get out of here. My life so that I'm happy with the way it is every day and just uh, you know, the simple things make me happy. So it's more harmonized yeah. and balanced as well. Yeah, and an absence of bad things is, is yeah. more important than having loads of good stuff. You know, if you just get rid of all the things you don't like, then you're left with... Happiness. Yeah, just... Uh, it's magical. The simple kind of happiness that is like contentment every day, so that you don't have uh, depression or stress, that your mood is kind of... I get that. You know. Yeah, I get that. That's magical. It's just how... What, 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 what's going on? I hope you want to be, <laughs> what did I, <laughs> you laugh out loud, oh no. Oh, okay, I know exactly what I'm choosing. That's fucked up, dude. I don't ever want to be like that. I'd rather just die young, but with you. Where are you going? 
I hope you live a very long life and then you mm. rot in hell. Well, I, I have a tank. Let's get her some water. You coming back, babe? She's all right. Come back. There, there's the babe thing. There it is again. Salty. Whenever you choose the wrong answer, Let's that comes hat. up. See, someone else point out. He point out finally off the hat. This could be a bit romantic, but obviously... More wrong than romantic. Hmm. Even the two bouncer like guys were like, yeah, buddy, that was that was pretty bad. Alright. Two for one. <laughs> I just got cheap off for that. <laughs> Seem to have rather fucked up the ambiance. You have, haven't you? Am I bad? You're oh, yeah. bad. Come to me, baby. Yeah, I come to you. Mm, touch me, eh? Oh, darling. A little massage? Little massage. Mm. Little yeah. hug? Mm. Little hug. Oh. What? What? Huh? Huh? Where does this come out of? This is for the grannies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just committed murder! You can't, you can't murder someone because they laughed. Maybe, maybe you can in the, the court of public. Are you okay? Uh, this is awful, but it actually happened as well. Um, when someone fell down the stairs, it was even worse. And um, this person went, ah, ha, like that kind of laugh. And then everyone looked and was just silent and shocked. Yes. So, yeah. Did, did they burden them also? Like, hey, buddy. You want the bat, or what do you want? <laughs> Alright, let's help her up. Is she alright, though? Let's be a, a, a normal, good person. Hi, you okay? Yeah, get her up. Let me just, let me just like, stand here. I'm looking like I'm a good yeah. person now. Your Here's your bag. bag. Yeah. You guys take her away, I'm just gonna go back to eating my cake. Might be the heat or something. Yeah, it is quite hot. Yeah. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah. I guess it's not a heart attack or something, is it? It's just no, it's not a heart attack. Fun, a funny turn, my granny used to call it. I've yeah. had a funny turn. It's just she's a little just, funny so. turn. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't think it's anything. Well, I hope not. Yeah, she'll be okay. Need some water or something, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> well done for helping the granny and not leaving her there on the floor. You're or... so kind. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. You're so kind after choosing those two other options. So, um, you need to send me your YouTube link. So oh, yeah. I no! Can do that. DMCA you. You what? You heard about that? No, that's fucked up actually. I had a couple this month. Mm -hmm. Tom Wanker used a bit of his music. Copyright strike. Ooh. I think it's three. And Every nightmare. Down, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. You can see on his face, he's like, terrible memories are coming back. You okay? Everyone wants to pick up a baby that's walking onto the road? Just a twinge. Oh no. Uh, alright, we'll, we'll leave you alone. We chose enough bad options in the granny one. Uh, it's no biggie, it's just a bit of a twins, you know, in the back. I think it happened, I did some gym, and then I went out feeding the squirrels, and I'm like oh. bending forward and stuff, and I yeah. was like, oh. No, so something like that can happen. Yeah, it'll be alright. And if yeah. not, I'm going to get just uh, get some stem cells, and then it's all set. It's amazing. It should be alright. Yeah. Let's get some stem cells. No one likes a Mona. No, no, guys with physical ailments, you know. Well, ones that whine about it. You don't want to be hanging around with someone who's whining all the time. Mm -hmm. Another bad thing for my back was um, I was sitting for a long time because I had Chinese lessons. I was um, learning Chinese. Really? Yeah, because yeah, it's a hard uh, language. I think it's the dark souls of languages. So oh, no, did you just really say that? No. Yeah. Could you say something? Did she just not call uh, that out? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, she did. Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. What are you saying? 
Uh, a bunch of different stuff. I said, have you eaten? I said, oh. uh, something about how you look. And oh. I said, like, I speak Chinese, but not very well. And yeah, a few basic phrases. It's dark souls and languages. Find a superficial commonality. Commit a criminal act to give her to bond with her. Hypnotize her with your teacup. Oh god, there's too many good options here. Hypnotize. And you know what, Charlotte? I find tea to be What's going on? Very, very relaxing. Sometimes Oh god, is this real? Just the thought of drinking some tea. Or the sound of the spoon in the cup as it stirs is enough to relax. That's right. As you listen, you might notice this teacup ASMR start to feel heavy. They can close. It feels good. That's right. And now, I want you to notice that you have strong feelings of attraction towards me. Feel them growing in your body, deep inside, as you drift down deeper. Good. Girl. Now, whenever I touch my cup, you'll be more and more attracted. Is there gonna be a fifth option in every question in second, now? Touch a cup. I will wake you up as I this count. This is a cheap one. one. Touch a cup. Ten. You'll slowly come back to me, feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. One. Two, three, slowly coming back, feeling the wind. We'll be hypnotized from boredom. Four, five. You really have to count down so slow. Six, back to your body, feeling more and more awake. What's going on? Seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Did you fall asleep there for a second? Were you daydreaming? Was that real? Yeah. How do you feel? So obviously this is exactly the thing to do on a date. Um, if it's not going so well, or even if it is a bit of hypnosis to... Are you, can you actually hypnotize? I can. No, genuinely, can you, or... I can. Yeah, every date's going bad, just, you know, bust out the hypnotizing powers. I bet you a hundred dollars I can hypnotize you. Okay, go for it. No, let's just shake on it first. Okay. And sleep. Get off. And sleep. It obviously doesn't work, and I'm and now a hundred bucks richer. Great. No, I didn't mean now. I'll do it later. But it works. But you shouldn't do it as well. Obviously not hypnotizing people on a date. Even if you can do it, and even if you can't do it. I no, can do it. Either war. But I won't do it. Now what happens? Is, is the date over? Because we hypnotized you? <laughs> you like big surprises? Um, Check it out. Get out! What? Mm, how bad are we gonna hide? Give a little wave. Hey Anastasia. Hey. Yo. How are you doing? You look so nice. Great dress. No. How's your flower shop? How's Anna? Oh no, she's telling him about the great surprises uh, under the, the the table thing. How, are you still dating that guy? Um. Uh, bye. Nice to see you. What? What'd she say? She said that you got a small dick and oh no. um, you can't sing. No, bad move. Um, not going to end well. Not going to end well there. 
oh god, we, we, we actually have to follow out after it. What? Well, this is a normal one. I want to hear him sing. What? So she said small dick and can't sing. Well, I'll tell you what. If I I'll try swinging. sing really well, what would that mean? Enormous dick, probably. Wouldn't you agree? That's logical. Well, it's logical. Yeah? Go on then. Give me a little... Well, not tune. right here, right now. Why not? It's a bit fun. Uh, wait, I'll give a little it a little bit go. exciting. All right. <sighs> And why don't you show like how big my dick would be based on the singing at the same time? Yeah, why not? Yeah? Okay. All right, start there. That's about. Is that? That's a bit small. What, but start what is there. going on? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. Don't show. Me, don't tell me what to believe. Not yet a woman. Not yet a woman. It's shrinking. Find the woman in me. Oh. What happens? You really can't sing. Ah, uh, so she might be right. I think she is right. For fuck's sake. Gosh. And everyone heard my singing, man. Fuck yeah, it's awful. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, it didn't really yeah. work out um, singing, but I'm going to get better. Good luck. All right, straightforward. I oh, don't listen to her. You know, we were dating for a while and she just was a bit of a nut job. So, yeah, um, yeah I thought she was going to be nice, but she's just trying to cause me problems. We dated and everything was good. Sometimes but... that can happen, though. Yeah. It's, um, sometimes girls can get wild, you know, after. Did you did you end it with her? Yeah, she wanted. Well, she. Yes, but for the right reasons. So she was, you know, good girl, all of that stuff. But then she became super serious, super jealous, controlling, calling me all the time. Where are you? What are you doing? And she was a bit of a bunny boiler. Okay, didn't give you your space. No, and even worse yeah. than that. Yeah, it was like fatal attraction. So it was a bit, yeah. Okay. But it seems like she's still on it because it was Okay, quite we're, a while we're, ago. we're segueing yeah. into like something normal. Maybe you should get a restraining order on her or something. Maybe so, yeah. But anyway, the main thing is don't listen to it and just, yeah. Yeah, I'll try it. maybe on date. Another day, we could try. Yeah, sure. In this case, you know, it's really hard to come up with a winning answer, and that's probably the best of a bad bunch to dig yourself out of the hole. Yeah, because she couldn't be really anything else. Otherwise, you don't want to look like you're putting her, another woman down, but mm -hmm. you're just trying to be honest about the situation. So, are you single? Yeah, I am actually. Currently single. And you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, do you fancy meeting again? All right. What's a move? Oh, no. Yep. Let's definitely meet again real soon. Mm -hmm. In fact, it would be perfect if we could do it like in three days, because in four days my Pornhub subscription's up and yeah, wow. I'd have to buy another year. And it's like, Damn. Imagine like I renewed it and then I start getting laid and I didn't really use it. It'd be mm -hmm. a waste of money, yeah? yeah That's would. a waste of money, yeah. So maybe in like three days? Come around. Maybe. I might have something little... better actually for you. Oh yeah, well, what's that? Let's see what you Is it like an F U or something there? I love letter. <laughs> you could call it that. What is it? Wow, girls. That's okay. my subscription. Is that your login? Yeah. To... Oh, thank you. I don't know what to say. That's amazing. I... It's okay. Wait. I'm, I'm going to go now. I have a wank right, right Wait. now. Yeah. Wait, what? What? <sighs> what happened? Wait, oh. What? Um, he says if she doesn't have sex, he's going to need to renew his uh, porn subscription. <sighs> I mean, this is just disgusting. I don't want to hear this. Ah, this one's too dark. Here. So let's definitely meet again soon. Mm -hmm. We could, what could we do together? We could go feed squirrels together. Yeah. I'd love to feed like the squirrels. squirrels. Yeah, why not? Excellent. We'll just go for a drink. Yeah, one or the other. Excellent, great. Oh, it's nice normal. One, the classic squirrel feeding session is it's a classic a winner with uh, yeah the ladies for sure. Right? But of course, I find this on every occasion, every night squirrel feeding night. 
Excellent, yeah. I just get the check, actually. Thanks. So what's your plans for the coming week? You busy? Um, well, I have a spa treatment. Oh, um, yeah. Just one? Yeah, well, tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I have them, like, once a week. Um, I've got to get my nails redone. Uh, I've got a shopping trip, actually, with my mother. Oh, that's all so. nice stuff. Nothing... Yeah. Uh... Oh, I've got a Pilates class as well. Excellent. So, so yeah. nothing strenuous or hazardous? Or... Well, the Pilates can be quite strenuous. That's actually. true, actually, yeah. yeah. Could be. So. So that she pays and you'll get the next one. You pay because you're a gentleman. Play five lies to see who pays. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, should I? Oh, no. No, no we, we, we had half the. Stop that. Let, I'll get this. My treat. Thank you. And I'll put in a we, nice We have a tank. We got plenty price. of money. It wasn't bad. It's always good to tip. Yeah, I always do. Then next time they remember you. They do. In my opinion, the man should always pay if it's his invitation. I agree. And I agree on the other hand as well, actually. If a woman has specifically invited something, you know, it's nice to... I think it's nice either or. You know, if you've, if you've invited someone to an event, it's, you know, I, don't, I think it's your place. Definitely, because you can't say, come out to this fancy restaurant with right. me. Right. By the way, you're paying. No, but I don't mind Dutch either. Mm -hmm. Which is splitting it. That's splitting it. We have to explain that to the audience, because they may not know what that means. Oh. Oh. Okay. So listen, we can meet on like, I don't know, Wednesday or something, but do you have any other slutty friends for other days of the week? Because I like to have just a lot of sluts. You will manly I'm lurks so in the sorry. corner. Why? Why? I'm the sluttiest of all my friends. Oh my god, that is brilliant. And even with me, you won't get a second date. What do you mean? You're not going to meet me again? Absolutely not. Oh, but you're slutty as my dream. Yeah, I'm the biggest slut you'll find, but you're not going to have me in bed. Oh, you're just teasing me now. Mm -hmm. But I might just go back and think about what you just said and touch myself. Yeah. So at least I got that much. Delightful. Even the tank wasn't worth it. Is this sexist? Yes. yes. Insulting. I thought so. Feed me grapes before I shoot you. So we should definitely meet again soon. Why don't I give you my phone and just unlock it? And you can just put your number in there and I'll be in touch. Just don't touch any of the photos and the albums. Great, that's the right option. Uh, setting up the second date. All good. Um. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, you were just going to put your number in. Yeah, of course. You want to meet again? Yes, of course I want to meet you. Yeah. Oh, was she You're dodging so it? so lovely. There we go. Yeah. She's putting a fake number in. I think um, probably the nicest guy I've been on a date with in a long time. Mm, and this, there's more to come. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you look at me. Don't look at me like that. It's creepy. Because you've hypnotized her. Yeah, because um, what you do oh, is came back. in hypnosis, you establish an anchor, which is either a touch or an action or something. And then when you do that again later, it re-triggers the hypnotic state and she slips right back into the trance. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the technical... They actually, I actually thought it was going to be a one-off gag. But morally... Morally, don't hypnotize your dates. Slightly worrying if you do. Yeah, but you could hypnotize someone to help them quit smoking with their consent or... Yeah, that's the whole point. You need consent. You can't just hypnotize any old person. Yeah. Results, Castle Nova. They're not going to call me off for doing the hypnotizing thing. It's a way to start, and I think in this situation it's pretty cool. Um, Alright, I gotta try to commit criminal act to give her. Go! Okay, let me see your bag for a second. Give me it here. Um, sure. Now run. Beautiful Free bag. Bags. So lovely. Let me get a little feel. So it's kind of like a baskety thing, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, look, check this yeah. out. What? I put one of these in there. What else? What mm, are you doing? Banana. Why are you taking... Why are you That's a good banana. Listen, why are you look. putting a banana wait, in wait, my wait, bag? Wait. We're getting on really well, and I just thought if we commit a criminal act, a small one, then we'll be bonding, and it will bring us closer together. Now we're partners in crime, so... But you take it out, not me, obviously. Uh, no. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah? I do not want to meet my partner in prison. Your partner? Okay? I'm your partner in crime. What do you mean? I wouldn't want to meet you at all. 
or anyone in prison. You okay. don't. Oh, we're not gonna go prison, babe. It's just a banana. You don't like crime? Absolutely not. Um. Don't put the banana back. It's a good banana. Guys, she's stealing something. She stole a banana. What? No, I. I haven't stolen anything. <clears throat> nope. Damn, we turned that one around real quick. Nah, no, bonding is good, but criminal behavior is bad, so not a good combination. The cake feeding came back. Came back. All right. Wake up anywhere in the Got world. For you. Okay. We're gonna say something uh, weird. If you could wake up anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be? Whole world. I'd say Rome. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been there, actually, considering I travel the world <laughs> all the time. Um, and I'd take my chihuahua with me. Chihuahua? Mm -hmm. Got a little chihuahua, he's called Chucky. All right, so you want to show Chucky the sights and stuff, I yeah? I do. Well, what, what would he like most, do you think? The Colosseum. Yeah? Mm. Colosseum more than like a sausage shop or something, yeah? Well, I'd take him to the ice cream shop. Apparently ah, there's a ice delicious cream, ice cream shop there, so I'd take him there. Yeah, have a bit, have a bit, yeah? Yeah, mm. just share a little ice cream together. He'll be in my handbag, of course. That's sweet. Well, you'd have to send me the pictures. I'd like to see Chucky yeah. and Rome, the album. Mm -hmm. This is a solid question. Uh, it's one of the kind of example questions that make for good conversation from my first book. And there are a bunch like that, but yeah, again, like it's uh, travel and it's quite precise. It gets someone to fantasize a little bit about a pleasant subject. So I think it's a solid choice. And you should also have your answer ready in case she asks you back. All right, let's try hiding. Sunny today, yeah? Well, hiding actually worked. It's weird. Nice one. That's the right option. You avoided a potentially embarrassing situation. So, are you single? Yeah, I am actually. Currently single. And you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, do you fancy meeting again? So let's definitely meet again. Nice one. The I just get the check actually. Oh, should I? In my opinion, the man. So we should definitely meet again soon. Why don't I give you my phone and just unlock it? And you can just put your number in there and I'll be in touch. Great, that's the right option. Yeah, okay. Oh, right, great. Have to make sure I do it right. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh. This time we didn't hypnotize her. <sighs> great, nice one. You got the best possible ending on this branch of the first level. Great, congratulations. You've got the best possible outcome. How are you doing? I'm just standing here in the background. Super seducer. This is a direct way to choice is 100%. Start, and I think in this situation 